Yeah, I just cleaned the rims on my Tesla Model X and I was looking at the tires and it reminded me to make a quick video about tire sizes. Most vehicles have the same size tires front and rear. And as you can see, this one is 275, 45, 20. That means 275 millimeters wide right here from side to side. 45 means multiply 275 millimeters by 45 and that's the aspect ratio. Actually, it's 45% of 275. So if you multiply 0.45 by 275, you get the actual height of the sidewall. And then 20 is the diameter of the rim in inches on 20 inch rims. So remember that 275, 45, just remember that 275. We go over to the front. Let's see what we've got here. We've got, let's see, smooth it off. 265, see that? 265, 45, 20. So this, the width of this tire is actually narrower than the back, which means we cannot rotate front to rear like is usually done on vehicles because these back tires are actually a little bit wider, just a little bit. But because of that, you cannot move it front to rear and rear to front on rotation. The only rotation you could possibly do is take this, say like on the back, take this tire on the driver's side, move it to the passenger side, bring the passenger side back. But a lot of times that's not recommended because what you end up doing is the tires are now turning in the reverse direction of what they were and a lot of times the tread gets feathered and then if you turn it in a, into a different direction you get all this tire noise so a lot of times that's not recommended so I'm going to have to check the Tesla manual and see what they recommend but you obviously cannot rotate front to rear like you do on a normal vehicle so my guess is these tires will be the way they are until they're replaced without rotating them because I've had bad experiences when I've when I've taken tires and switched sides of the vehicle, driver to passenger side, which switches the rotation direction. So I would not advise doing that. That's just my two cents.